was June 28, 1961. Yes, this was a really emotional day for me as I was a kid, uh, eight years old, a month. I traveled with my father to this place here and he explained to me what will happen. I didn't understand anything. And uh, when we arrived here in Brizago, I saw a lot of people running around. There were a lot of ships with, uh, with equipment on it. I was concentrated on three persons. Most important person was, of course, my father. The other person, they had two divers, uh, Hannes Keller and uh, Damian McLeish. During this day, they, they uh, put this, uh, the diving suits on and they looked to me like these people on, on the comics. Of course, I was very impressed to be part and, and witness of this moment when they then went down to 220 meters. Was world record. Uh, uh, performed here in Brisago because it was in the open water. The story has been told to the whole world because Life magazine told this story to the whole world. One picture I remember still, my father had always his headset on. This was because he wanted to be in contact with the divers at every time. So he could hear what happens on the water and he could react. So he could uh, influence the uh, compression phase, he could influence and the decompression of all. Uh, he was preparing this, but something could happen during the dive. Well, my father has been born in Berlin. He grew up there. He was the only child of Swiss immigrants. Uh, and uh, he then studied in, uh, in Berlin medicine at the Charité. And, uh, end of the war he uh, went back to Switzerland and in Switzerland nobody accepted his uh, education in, in, in Germany and especially not uh, the medicine studies and he had to start with nothing in Switzerland and I think this was very important for his character, developed his character, he started to fight. He found another way he has been accepted for the doctor exam at the University of Zurich and this opened him a career as scientist at the University of Zurich. He became an expert for uh, questions, all questions about respirations. Yeah, he took this chance. Why the Swiss were so successful in diving medicine in the 60s, 70s, 80s? These were in France, in, in UK, in, U in the US. One, one problem they had, they could not dive deep. They stopped at 80, 100 meters and uh, they were not able to dive really deep. Even Jacques Cousteau has constructed a, a pressure chamber, which was in Toulon, which allowed dives to 450 meters. They were not able to do it. And now why Swiss comes and uh, invent the new world in diving, the country is so small, but it has many mountains. And uh, what, we go, what Swiss can do is go up to the mountains. And what they see then is they, they see the right landscape that opens the mind. Especially also in Switzerland, you have a chance, you, you, you don't have these uh, uh, this boundaries. And what is also important also is that you have less bureaucracy. And this was a chance for him to start with his uh, research in diving medicine. The goal for my dad was to improve uh, the life conditions for people. Also his legacy was to make diving more safe. And this was the case for recreational diving, for professional diving, for military diving. And uh, the results of uh, approximately 500 experiments in, made in, mainly in Zurich uh, resulted then in the compression tables. The diving tables are now the base for featuring the Bullman watch, because on the Bullman watch incorporates also the history of these uh, 35 years of uh, research. 
I'm very proud to have this first prototype of the Bullman watch in front of me. When I look on it, I see the name Decompression 01. And uh, Adrian, I wanted to ask you, why you call it Decompression 01? If you go back to the 50s of the last century, there was a famous luxury vessel that sunk in front of New York on the ground 120 meters deep. All the experts said, we cannot work with that wreck. It's too deep. Professor Bühlmann came and broke the ban, creating a completely new concept of diving, the concept of decompression. And this concept of decompression is now the DNA of modern diving. In this watch, we included 35 years of diving research made by Professor Bühlmann. And that's why we call the Bühlmann Decompression One the mother of all diving watches.